Hi everyone, it's Emily here and I'm back with another river talk and today I'm standing by a beautiful little stream and river catchment area that actually flows directly into the Helford River and it's an absolutely beautiful location. Now today's river talk is actually going to be all about river insects and some of the amazing educational activities that the West Country Rivers Trust undertake to educate others on the biodiversity and different species of river insects alongside their importance for ecosystem function and health. One really interesting educational activity that the West Country Rivers Trust undertake, usually with schools and students, is the River Kick Survey, which involves placing a kick survey net directly towards the flow of the river so that the river water is flowing into the net to collect some river water and a little bit of river debris to then place into a white survey dish to examine what river insects and inverts are inhabiting that river system. There are some particular river insects that are really important biotic indicators for good water quality, meaning if you find them in the river, this indicates that the river is in good health. So this kick survey is a really good way to examine how healthy the river habitat is. And today I'm actually going to do a little mini kick survey myself in this little stream to see what insects I can find and talk to you guys about. So yeah. Let's see what river inverts we can find today. So I've got my little white survey dish. I've put some river water in it already. Um, and I've got my little net here. And yeah, I'm gonna place it directly into the flow of this little stream to see what we can find. And now already in the first sample, I've already found some mayflies. These are vitally important aquatic insects. Mayfly adults actually only live for about a day flying around, but they start their life cycles off in the water, in a river or a stream. And they actually stay in this nymph stage for about two years before becoming an adult. And we actually have about 52 species of mayfly in the UK. They all look a little different. Some can be larger than others or they can grow larger um, and they're all characterised by having these three tails at the back which is one really good way you can ID them whereas the stonefly for example which looks very similar to the mayfly only has two tails at the back and I think I just saw a stonefly in this sample so I'll show you that in a minute but yeah they are very important biotic indicators because they really cannot tolerate uh, bad water quality and pollutions very well. So the fact that I'm finding them here today is just a great indicator that this stream is in good health. And mayflies are also actually part of an ancient group of, a, of insects um, termed the Paleoptera, which actually also includes the damselflies and dragonflies. And there are actually mayfly fossils that date back 300 million years, which is just crazy. And the grazing undertaken by mayfly in this nymph stage is also vital for the river. It helps to keep the river water clean and it's just very important for nutrient cycling. So this little one down here actually looks like a stonefly because it has two tails, which you can see there. Again, very important biotic indicators. You know, so the presence of them in this stream again indicates that the water quality is good. Oh, and there's a mayfly again. <laughs> Gives you a good comparison between the two. Now we have another exciting find here. I don't know if you see, but if you look closely you can see something crawling along there. Now that actually looks like a caddisfly larvae. Again, really important inverts for the river system, indicating good water quality. And they crawl rather than swim, and you can see that this little one is crawling. And one of the most amazing facts about caddisfly larvae is that they actually use silk to glue together bits of debris around themselves to make a tunnel so that they can stay camouflaged 
in the river sediment. And some of these like tube look looking things around here that you can kind of see looks like lots of little bits of sand all stuck together. Looks like some of the caddisfly tubes but this little one is out of its tube <laughs> crawling around. We actually have about 200 species of caddisfly in the UK and again they are also really important for the food web. Many river species feed on these. There's even a little water slater there, crawling along. They look like little wood lice. So we've got a lovely little beetle here. Some water beetles can be scavengers, some can be herbivores, some can be predators. All playing an important part in the food chain. And we've actually got some freshwater snails here as well. These are really important grazers for the river, again helping to keep the water clean. I'm just so excited with everything I've already found. So quickly, just by doing this mini kick survey, it's just so nice to see all the biodiversity going on here and all these important biotic indicators. All residing within this little stream that's flowing directly into a river. So that's it for today's river talk guys. I thoroughly enjoyed seeing all these amazing river insects up close so I hope you did too. As usual, head over to the West Country Rivers Trust socials and website and just look at the amazing work they're doing and see how you can get involved with protecting these precious habitats. But for now, stay safe and I'll see you all again soon for another River Talk. Bye!